Good morning, scholars. We are reading the story, Millie's Garden. This is by Pam Zolman. You can find this on page eight in your packet. I'm gonna ask you to read along with me as I read the story. So please pause the video and turn to page eight in your packet and find the story, Millie's Garden by Pam Zolman. And then we will begin. Millie's Garden by Pam Zolman. Millie loved her neighborhood, but she didn't love the way it looked. Bottles, paper, and tires were everywhere, so she decided to do something about the mess. Millie had lots of friends, but when she asked them to help clean up the empty lots of trash, tires, and furniture, no one wanted to help. Impossible, said Mrs. Brown from her porch. Too tired, said Mr. Abrams, a grocery store owner. No time, said Mrs. Jordan as she hung clothes on the line. Too hot, said Tamika, her face damp with sweat. Too hard, said Hector as he watched reruns on TV. So Millie picked up the trash by herself. John was bored, so he helped M Millie move the sofa and old tires to one side. They turned in the cans, bottles, and paper to the recycling center and used the money to buy seeds. Millie had lots of friends, but when she asked them to help her mow and weed the vacant lot, only John helped. Impossible, said Mrs. Brown from her porch. Too tired, said Mr. Abrams as he worked the cash register. Mrs. Jordan and her young children brought marigolds from their yards for Millie's garden. The vacant lot turned green and gold as vegetables grew. Millie had lots of friends, but when she asked them to help pick vegetables, only John, Mary, and Mrs. Jordan and her young children helped. Impossible, said Mrs. Brown from her porch. Mr. Jones yawned as he walked home from his store. Then he took a nap. When he woke, he felt refreshed, so he made a sign that read, fresh vegetables for sale here. Mr. Jones helped Millie, John, Tamika, and Mrs. Jordan and her children sell the vegetables. From her porch, Mrs. Brown watched everyone work together. It is possible, she exclaimed. She drove over in her pickup truck. Millie, Hector, Tamika, Mrs. Jordan, and her young children, and Mr. Jones loaded the sofa and tires into Mrs. Brown's truck. Then Mrs. Brown drove to the dump. Now the empty lot looked beautiful. Millie had lots of friends. When she asked them to help plant new seeds, everyone wanted to help. After all, it wasn't just Millie's garden anymore. And that's the end of our story. I want you to pause the video now and reread the story again to yourself. Take a few minutes. Get everything locked in your brain, and then we're going to answer some questions. All right, so turn to page 10 in your packet, and there are a few questions I want you to answer. Take your time, think about the story, make sure you find evidence for your, from, your, from the story for your answers. First question, number one, based on the passage, which word best describes Millie? A, funny, B, brave, C, determined, or D, mean? Circle the correct answer, please. Question two, a summary for this passage could be A, Millie did not like how her neighborhood looked, so she told her mom she wanted to move. B, Millie liked her neighborhood and spent most of her time visiting the neighbors. C, Millie did not like how her neighborhood looked, so she asked everyone to help and they refused. D, Millie did not like how her neighborhood looked, so she asked everyone to help and eventually they did. Question three, based on what you have read, explain what you think will happen next to the garden. Include details from the passage to support your explanation. So please write your answer on those lines or add another notebook page if you need to. Write a few complete sentences. Those are sentences that start with what? An uppercase letter, 
They end with punctuation. Tell us what you think will happen next to the garden and give us some details, name some characters, use evidence from the story. Finally, in your notebook, draw and label a picture that shows an important event in the story. So think about one part of that story and make an illustration for it and put a caption at the bottom of your illustration or at the top of your illustration. Tell me what I am looking at. When you are all done, just like we do for all of our work, take a photo of it or have a family member take a photo of it, send it to your teacher, and have a wonderful day.